Well, it's really good to be back in India, in New Delhi. The weather's beautiful, not too hot. We've had a great trip, and we're looking forward to a great adventure. My old friends Ebenezer and Roy camera met us. Camera camera new camera. Next morning back to the airport. We'll catch a flight south to the ancient city of Bangalore, now Bengaluru. I'm doing the Indian rope trek without a rope. It's not too early and we're heading for the plane. Scheduled to depart at 9.30 and on time. I'm with Gerard and Rebecca for this trip. I've never been to Bangalore and Mysore before and I'm really looking forward to the experience. Two and a half hours to Bangalore from New Delhi. The time passed quickly and we're soon landing. A coffee for the trip and off to our hotel. Did you sleep well? Fand that home home. Fand that face and home. Breakfast next morning to invigorate us for the trip to Mysore. Weather not so great, but no rain. The trip takes five hours. My good friend Sony was our guide. How does it know I'm Sony, by the way? You'd written your name on your camera. Sony is a dentist. Quite a lot of traffic on the way. Stopped for a CCD coffee halfway. Good trip so far, Alex. Um, yeah. One, uh, uh, We're about halfway, and uh, we'll get to Mysore in about uh, one and a half hours. This is Manjula and she is wonderful. I always enjoy a chat with the CCD baristas. The youth of India are special. The scenery when traveling in India is generally not great, but as we travel these exotic roads, I always feel a sense of anticipation. We soon arrive at the Radisson Country Suites Hotel and check in. A very nice place. And a four-star room. With beautiful views, though a little windy outside. And then buffet lunch. Gerard checking out the delicacies. I can recommend it. The cost was only $10. Even with drinks and coffee included. Muscarao! We just arrived in the hotel, it's a very beautiful hotel, and we're about to explore my soil. Then into the city to explore. Now renamed Mysuru. Drove through the city as we were heading for a quick visit to the zoo. But it gave us a chance to get our bearings and have a first look. Disappointed with the weather, it had begun to rain, but we made the best of it.
I never like to see animals caged up like this, but it does give us an opportunity to see them. Otherwise, we would only get to see them on TV. The magnificence of these animals is awe-inspiring. Both Sonny and Alex have spent time here, and they were both eager to let us experience Brindavan Gardens with its illuminated fountains. It brought back memories for both of them, and was certainly a fascinating sight that was very popular. So off we went. It's a nocturnal experience. It's about 10 miles away. It consists of a great plethora of fountains, gushing, swaying, and illuminated. People literally come from miles around and bring the children to see. Dancing fountains have become popular the world over. Apparently the first was in 1820 in Europe. There's something soothing and relaxing about a musical dancing fountain. And it was fun. Next morning in the hotel, I learned the secret of its wonderful staff and service as we ate a superb buffet breakfast. And I managed to embarrass the waitress. Okay, ready? Yes, sir. Why are you so beautiful? <laughs> I don't know, sir. That was the rehearsal. Here's the real thing. Why are you so beautiful? Because I'm from Siliguri, that's why I'm beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> We've been staying in Radisson Country Inn, and it has really been a, a superb stay. Especially the staff here, just wonderful. And we, they've made it a great time. And I would love to come back here. After a great breakfast, we go sightseeing again. Today we'll see the amazing Mysore Palace in the heart of Mysore, built inside of the old fort, the royal residence of the Maharaja. It's impressive as soon as we approach it. I've never seen anything like it. Even the square in front was elegant and topped with gold leaf. A Hindu temple prominent as we entered. The entrances elaborately decorated. And having the inscription in Sanskrit, never terrified. The temple alongside a work of art in itself. Inside the building showed us just how powerful the Mysore Kingdom was.
The intricate exterior gave us an idea of what was to come. Simply magnificent. Extraordinarily beautiful. Inside those arches is an interior promenade which we'll see later. The architectural style is, as with many Indian palaces, a mixture. Indo-Saracenic, a kind of Indo-Gothic, perhaps Mughal Gothic, a style commonly used by British architects in India in the late 19th century. Drawing from the intricate and decorative elements of the native Indo-Islamic architecture and especially Mughal architecture, which the British adapted and added Indian features and decoration. It's a style I've seen all over India and which impresses me. Can even be seen in England the Brighton Pavilion, for instance. It was built between 1897 and 1912, designed by Henry Irwin, who also designed the Vice Regal Lodge in Shimla. So we entered to see the interior, everyone looking forward to see it. First impressions, great. Clearly much thought has gone into the way the exhibits are being displayed. But the building itself is a work of art and right from the onset of our exploration we were impressed. Nothing was ordinary, everything stunning about its design and the workmanship of the artisans who created it. And yet certain elements are almost confrontational. There's surprises at each turn and even the stately homes of Britain itself can't compare. Around every corner is a wow moment. And though a film can't do it justice, I'm sure the viewer will get an idea of the splendor of this place. The floors, the ceiling, the walls, all amazing in their own ways. The floor tiles actually came from England. The central atrium must be 80 feet high and everything in gold leaf. Art on the walls and on the ceilings. Family portraits going back centuries. The woodwork so traditional, Alex was reminded of his own childhood home. I thoroughly enjoyed this experience. We finally came to the promenade that's visible from outside 
to marvel at how it's even surpassed many parts of the interior. Mughal arches look out over the grounds. The ceiling another masterpiece. What a visit it's been. I've actually visited at least three Maharaja's palaces and I stayed overnight in one, in Himachal, and this has to be the best I've seen. Outside, a descendant of the heady days of the Maharajas was having lunch. As the Hindu deities looked on, The actual living quarters of the Maharaja are here. You've seen the past, here's the future. Two young boys enjoying a camel ride. While we chatted with their parents, and a group of teenagers that I had a chat with, they're the future. I told them they'd be film stars, and they are. What a place, what an experience. It was a great feeling as we drove back to the hotel and contemplated the things we'd just seen and experienced. My sore had not disappointed. Chitty cat. You know, Malayali. Chitty cat. Thank you for the coffee. This is the brownie. This is a sizzler brownie ice cream. Because it's very light behind, but I can, I'll work on it. One, two, three. Come and join us. Come on. These are my good friends from from uh, Irish, Bengal Irish. Or Bengal yeah, 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 yeah. Are you recording? Is it recording, right? Yeah. Okay.